I'm Erin Conrad. Here's a look at some of today's top stories from Two Works for You. Today's state health officials are reporting nearly 1,200 new COVID-19 cases in the state. That's a 0.4% increase from Monday's number. Sadly, there are also 22 additional deaths. That brings the state's death toll from COVID-19 to more than 2,400 since March. Three of today's reported deaths were from here in Tulsa County. And as we take a look at the Tulsa Health Department zip code map, you can see that most of the county is now shaded in red, meaning severe to extreme severe risk of COVID transmission. Right now in Tulsa County, there are more than 5,000 active cases of COVID-19. And a hearing that was set to take place tomorrow in a lawsuit against Governor Kevin Stitt's COVID-19 restrictions on bars and restaurants is now delayed. The hearing will now happen January 8th. A temporary restraining order was issued December 17th. Earlier this month, the judge granted temporary relief for a group of businesses that sued over the governor's order, which requires bars and restaurants to close nightly at 11 p.m., except for curbside and drive through The temporary restraining order issued on the 17th will remain in effect until the 8th. And we've now reached another grim milestone here in the U.S. More than 2 million kids have tested positive for COVID-19 since the onset of the pandemic. That's according to a new report from the American Academy of Pediatrics and the Children's Hospital Association. The report shows that since November 12th, there has been an increase of 1 million COVID-19 cases in children. All right, let's take a look at your 10 day forecast. Much colder as we head into Wednesday. Rain and snow chances for the next couple of days as we head into the new year. Sunshine returns this weekend and looking much better next week. Definitely winter is here. And that's a look at some of the stories making headlines today.